Thanks for that introduction. So yeah, good afternoon. I'm Joel Lindecker. I'm a PhD student in the Safari Research Group at ETH Zurich. And I will present the work on Morpheus, extending the last of cache capacity in GPU systems with island GPU core resources. Let's start with a high level overview. We observe that memory bound GPU applications leave some cores underutilized. And our goal is to leverage these underutilized cores to boost the performance and energy efficiency of memory bound applications. To this end, we propose Morpheus, the first technique that leverages some GPU cores private memories to extend the total GPU last level cache LLC capacity. Morpheus employs the software helper kernel in cores and the new hardware unit in the LLC partitions, and Morpheus significantly improves the performance and energy efficiency of memory bound GPU applications, as well as it enables a 4x larger LLC with the same LLC hardware. So let's go into a more detailed introduction. To motivate our work, we study memory bound GPU applications. So here on the y axis, we plot speed up, on the x axis, number of GPU cores. And if we study an application like PageRank, that's memory bound, we observe that we get good performance benefits for the first 40 cores, and then little to no performance benefit from the remaining cores. So we repeat the same study for an entire range of memory bound GPU applications, and we observe the same pattern. Good performance benefit for some number of cores, and then little to no performance benefit from the remaining cores. We, co we conclude that conventional GPUs do not benefit from all cores for memory bound applications. So, if we have a set of GPU cores which provide good performance benefits, and then a set of GPU cores which provide little to no performance benefit for memory bound applications, then our goal is to leverage these underutilized cores to boost the performance and energy efficiency of memory bound applications. To this end, we propose Morpheus. Let's go to Morpheus PI. On the left, you see an on-chip memory of a conventional GPU. And we logically divide it into well-utilized cores private memories, underutilized cores private memories, and finally, the conventional LLC. On the right, you see the on-chip memory of a Morpheus-enabled GPU. So it uses the same well-utilized course private memories, same conventional LLC. However, Morpheus converts the underutilized course private memories into extended LLC. And this is Morpheus key idea. Repurposing, oh, repurposing underutilized GPU course private memory to extend the GPU's LLC capacity. Now let's see how this can be implemented. So we propose two execution modes for each GPU core. On the left, compute mode, on the right, cache mode. Cores in compute mode operate conventionally, so they execute an application kernel and use their private memories, a one cache, shared memory and register file to hold application data. However, cores in cache mode lend their private memory to extend the LLC. They execute an extended LLC kernel, which we propose, and they use the private memory to keep controller state, category, and data array. Now let's see how a request is served in Morpheus. So we have a set of cores operating in compute mode, a set of cores operating in cache mode, and they're connected through an interconnection network to a set of LLC partitions. Any core in compute mode can generate LLC requests, and such a request moves over the interconnection network to an LLC partition. There, it's first handled by the Morpheus controller, a new hardware unit we propose. And this Morpheus controller makes a forwarding decision based on which it either creates the conventional LLC or it sends the request over the interconnection network to a core operating in cache mode. There, a, the extended LLC kernel serves the request, returns it over the interconnection network to the Morpheus controller, and from there to the core that originally generated the request. So that was the system level view of Morpheus. Now let's look at this component in some more details. Start with the Morpheus controller. So recall that the Morpheus controller in the LLC partition should handle three tasks. First, it should make a forwarding decision. And second, based on this decision, it should query either the conventional LLC or query the extended LLC. For the forwarding decision, we propose a simple mechanism called address separation, which can be implemented as a combination of logic. And querying the conventional LLC is fairly simple because it's physically co-located with the Morpheus controller in each LLC partition. So querying it is a matter of simple forward. 
In contrast, querying the extended LC is not straightforward because somehow there has to be communication from the Morpheus controller over the interconnection network to a core operating in cache mode. And it's at least not immediately clear how this should work. To solve this issue, we propose a warp status table. Let's look at this in some detail. So we have a core, core in compute mode, a core in cache mode. And the core in compute mode sends LLC requests to the Morpheus controller and where the requests are inserted into the warp status table. This table tracks ongoing requests for each set and it keeps information like the request is a read or write, what its tag is, and if it's a hit or a miss. Crucially, this warp status table is memory mapped. So any core operating in cache mode can read and write all this data using regular load and store instructions. And this actually already handles the entire communication aspect of Morpheus. So we discussed the Morpheus controller. Let's go into the extended LC kernel. So on the right, we have a core in cache mode, and it's one the extended LC kernel. And recall that the goal of cache mode is to repurpose the course private memory to extend the LLC. So it took, when it receives the request, it should either query the L1 cache, query shared memory, or query register file to serve the request. And the extended LLC kernel should implement all this functionality by being a regular kernel running on a completely unmodified GPU core. Let's see how this can be implemented. Fortunately, the L1 cache is already a cache in hardware. So we can query it with regular load and store instructions. That's straightforward. Then the shared memory is a scratch pad. It's addressable like regular memory. And implementing a software cache is a matter of software engineering, but it's not conceptually difficult. In contrast, querying the register file is at least not intuitive because first it's not addressable like a regular memory. And it's also not clear how to efficiently store and load cache data from a register file. So we propose to efficiently lay out data across threads so we get a lot of parallelism out of it. Let's look at this in some more detail. So we want to map an extended LLC set uh, consisting of 32 LLC blocks here into the register file. Each of these blocks has uh, its own tag, so tag 0 to 31. And we propose to have a single block of 32 threads where each thread is responsible for holding exactly one of these tags. So if we then query this register file, we receive a query tag, and each thread compares its own tag to the query tag. So this enables a parallel operation of all these 32 threads. We have a 32-way parallel tag lookup. So this was the operation of a single extended LC set by a single warp. Since there are many hardware warps in a GPU core, we can have many extended LLC sets in a GPU core. This can be as many as 48 of these sets operating and serving requests in parallel. So we get two levels of parallelism, first within sets and across threads, and then across sets or warps. So these two levels of parallelism because high efficiency and throughput of the extended LLC. We explain these, these mechanisms in much more detail in our paper and we also uh, describe some optimization techniques we either develop or apply to Morpheus, including hit miss prediction and some cache bit compression. With that out of the way, let's go into evaluation. We evaluate on 17 representative workloads, 14 memory bound, 3 compute bound, and we experimentally characterize extended LLC on a real system. So, this is possible since we uh, designed the extended LLC kernel to be a regular kernel running on an unmodified core. So we can do this on a real system and get capacity, latency, bandwidth, and energy per byte of the extended LLC. And then the full Morpheus enabled GPU, we simulate so we can run applications on it. And we need to do that because we're missing some hardware units. This gives us performance, energy efficiency, and bandwidth. Let's look at Morpheus performance. We have normalized execution time on the Y axis, so lower is better. And then we have our 17 workloads on the X axis. We take it off the shelf and we get our X. 3080 as a baseline, and then we consider a hypothetical RTX 3080 before its larger conventional LLC. Finally, we plot Morpheus, and we make three key, key observations from this plot. First, Morpheus performs better than or equal to the baseline for all applications. Second, Morpheus performs on average, uh, accelerates memory bound applications by 39%. And third, Morpheus performs within 3% of a 4x larger conventional LLC. 
The same experiment also records the energy efficiency. Um, so we got normalized, uh, normalized energy efficiency, same baseline of Morpheus, and we observe less of the same energy for all applications, and it improves energy efficiency by 58% on average. Finally, we observe that Morpheus energy efficiency is within 6% of 4x larger potential analysis. We have a much more in-depth evaluation in our paper, um, including characterization of the extended LC and many more. So, uh, let me conclude uh, by saying we observe these memory bound applications, uh, at least of course underutilized. We leverage the underutilized cores to boost the performance and energy efficiency of memory bound applications. We propose Morpheus, the first technique that leverages some GPU cores private memories to extend the total GPU loss of cache capacity. And we observe that Morpheus outperforms state of the art systems by 39% in terms of performance, 58% of in terms of energy efficiency, and it creates within 3% of the 4x large conventional LLC. Finally, Morpheus provides a 4x large LLC for the same LLC hardware. We conclude that Morpheus effectively repurposes the private memory of underutilized cores to extend the GPU LLC capacity. Thanks for your attention and I'm happy to take any questions now.